Good evening and welcome to PMA Vidya channel. I am Mukta Kandyal and you all are watching our special live interactive session webinar and our today's program is in the continuation of our webinar series on ET and ICT tools. And the topic we have today on the table for discussion is create interactive video lessons using TED-Ed. And uh, you can watch our this program on PM with the channel number 6 to 12 and also on our YouTube channel which is NCRT official. So if you have any query, any questions related to today's topic, you can call us on a number that is 8800440559. You can also write to us at training.helpdesk uh, at the rate cit.nic.in. Apart from that, you can also reach out to us through our YouTube channel which is NCRT official. You can drop your question, any queries related to the topic through live chat box option. And as always, we are joined by one of the experts who will be giving us a detailed and complete information on today's platform. So the expert we have today is Rajesh Kulluri. Uh, good evening, sir, and a very warm welcome in the session. So good evening, ma'am, and many thanks to CIT. And before we start today's session, let me give you a brief introduction about uh, Rajesh. Sir. sir is a secondary grade teacher at MPUP uh, School, Gulla, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, sir is also a teacher, trainer and a blogger and has 12 years of experience in total. Sir is also one of the finalists of 2018 National ICT Awards. And top of that, sir is also the winner of the British Council's Feature Blog of the Month Award for March 2019 and also for September 2019. Uh, sir, I think that's a great list of achievements. Uh, for anyone and especially for you so congratulations for that and thank you, thank you so much uh, and let's start today's session sir and as we have already told about uh, today's topic that is TEDED platform we will be discussing about this so I would like to request you to start this session by giving a brief overview about this platform that what exactly is TEDED sure and uh, thanks to and it's my pleasure for having this opportunity and also, uh, good evening to all the viewers uh, who are watching the live webinar of uh, the TEDED organized by the CIT and CRT. And today I am going to talk about and explore about the tool TEDED, which is a free tool for the teachers for uh, um, creating such interactive video lesson plans. And it's very easy to create such type of lesson plans because of if we have a 30 minutes or 20 minutes time, when you are traveling somewhere or going to school like that, and you can create such interactive lesson plan using your mobile phone. So no need of laptop and a desktop and no need any type of digital skills to prepare such type of interactive uh, lesson plans and video lesson plans and make uh, some difference in the classroom for the regular teaching with the tech teaching like all those things. So the TEDED is very, very useful tool and also it's a very free and very easy tool to create the teachers for preparing such type of interactive lessons. So, uh, so we are going in deep to discuss about what is actually TEDED is and what uh, uh, what you can do using such tools, how it is impact in your teaching, and also how it is useful in your classroom. How you can create lesson plans and video lesson plans using the TEDED tool. So. The first of all, I told you that you can create some interactive video lesson plans. So you can talk about that uh, video lesson plans means we have such skills. Uh, do we have such skills like all those? No, no need of such type of skills, preparing such video skills. But if you find any good video in the YouTube, and definitely you use the video in your classroom. Because of nowadays, we are using the videos in the classrooms. But uh, using the video in the classroom is not only enough uh, for getting such type of learning outcomes from the students according to the content. So here, the TEDED, talking about the TEDED, so we are using the videos in the classroom means we need to expand that, how the outcome comes from the video, the video lesson, like all those things. So here is a good tool, those who are using videos in the classroom, you can convert your videos into an interactive and you can monitor the students learning and you can monitor the students' progress also using the TEDED tool. Because of we can record all the responses remotely and it also helps for the flipped learning classrooms and you can create such blended environment in the classrooms. So you can assign such type of video lessons to the students from your home and also students can easily engage the content at the, from their homes 
assigning by the teacher so talking about the tedd tedd is an a youth and education initiatives so it's initiation from the youth of tedds so they created such type of animated videos which is related to the education so they have prepared such type of very very well versed animated videos and uploaded to the youtube so we can use such youtube videos and you can customize the videos and you can give some adding questions to the videos and you can assign to the students so the, the main aim is tedd for developing this tedd is to to spark and celebrate the ideas because of you have an, a great idea and you prepared a good video and you have some technical skills you have some animated skills you have prepared such video then the video will gives you the 100 better 100 times better knowledge than the teaching of regular on the board black board on the green board like all those things suppose sometimes video gives you holistic approach and holistic meaning to the whole content so such type of ideas if you upload such type of ideas to the tedd and this will help the other community the teachers and also students to help to get the knowledge and also explore about the content so the main aim the tedd is that to spark and celebrate the ideas so you can share your ideas and you can share with the world with the ideas you have really and the knowledge sharing of the teachers and students around the world because i've already told you that if you have an idea you want to share you want to share with the world to share the colleagues and also students also so this is a very good platform to share your ideas by preparing such videos or some preparing such good lesson plans not only the video and if you create such a great lesson plan according to the video based on the video then you can upload it to the tedd and this lesson plan will use uh, many of the students and who are watching and who are using the tedd in their classrooms so supports learning by producing a growing video library dearly suppose the many people are using the tedd and they are uploading different type of content and videos and also lesson plans then it will help other teachers and students to learn remotely at their home from their classrooms also so in definitely it will support the learning by producing so growing video library there's a there's a great library of videos and also video lesson plans to teach respect to the content and you can choose from hundreds and thousands of the videos and you can use those videos in the classroom according to our our topic or lesson whatever it is and you see the original animated lessons for teachers to create their own interactive lesson plans you can also if you are good at animate animation and definitely you are creating something and you can also use your own video and animated lesson in your lesson plan and if you are uh, searching for something better than your video and there are lot of video library is there some the great animators are working and developing such videos related to our education and you can use such type of videos in your classroom so mostly tedd is sharing the ideas and also tedd is celebrating the success of the teachers and also students and also it's a great sharing platform and it's also free tool for creating the video lesson plans so coming to the next slide and what you can discover in the tedd you can see there are three types of uh, our uh, sections are there in the tedd one is lessons you can see different different type of the lessons so based on the video and you can see the collections suppose if you have a theme if you want to talk about suppose there is a science teacher he wants to talk about the science he want to teach about the science so you can set such type of themes and you can get such type of videos according to the team so no need to search all those things what are there in the youtube and don't bother about that the, the theme is not related i am not getting such type of uh, videos related to theme like all those things so there is a lot of uh, pre defined collections are there so you can easily browse through the themes and you can easily choose the content which is related to your or topic and also explorations because of there are lot of interactive experiences related videos are there suppose they, there is a periodic table about all those elements if you want to talk about such element there is a video uh, about such type of particular element and then you can discuss and you can use the video in the classroom and you can assign such interactive experiences to their students like so in the tedd you can discover the lessons and also collections because of theme oriented lessons also 
and you can use some interactive experience of videos that are prepared by the other experts who are experts and the uh, animation are what uh, and the digital tools like you can use the the tools and the videos of the other teachers among the world and the finally you can see finally you can see that uh, what the tedx we can see you can discover something you can discover some innovative things in the tedx and you can discover your topic and team and your required uh, um, content like all those things and using such type of uh, um, content you can create uh, in different type of video lesson plans very very easily i already told you that if we have just 20 or 30 minutes time if you have such type of questions what you are going to ask in the classroom and if you want to uh, assess your students you have some question here and definitely you can use the video and connect your questions and to share it here whatsapp or social media to their students so you can discover and you can create such things and you can create such innovative innovative ideas you can celebrate the innovation of your idea you can celebrate with the world because of by sharing all those things to the uh, community of the teachers and the students of tedx so like and also you can monitor your students and you can giving you can give feedback to the students and you can you can monitor each and every every student who access to and who attempted the questions and who answer the quiz and who are very weak towards the content like you, all those things you will get uh, from the tedx account so it's already it's totally free and it's also a good lms i think i can share because of you can have your students uh, progress uh, in your login uh, forever like you can see in the lesson plan uh, now i am going to explore about the uh, live how you can create a video lesson plan using the uh, videos in the tedx so in a lesson plan you can see what we are going to insert in a lesson plan you can see there is a video so video based lesson plan is there already told you that and you can add some interactive questions to the video so so for the video you can assign some multiple choice question fill in the blanks true or false like uh, uh, short answer questions or open ended questions like different type of questions you can add to the your video and you can also discussion prompt you can give some discussion uh, prompts uh, suppose if you want to extend and if you want to ignite some ideas related to the topic then you can give an a statement and open the discussion from your students then definitely you can add to the discussion point to your video like and also you can attach the material suppose the video is not enough because of uh, even though we have thousands of videos in the youtube maybe sometimes we may not get such type of video to, um, related to the content exactly so you can add the material to your video the, then students can read and students can uh, uh, go through the um, content uh, go to the all the pdf like images you can also add and if you want to add some external links uh, students after watching the video they have to uh, um, read and have to go to the other websites so for further reading for for the support to reading then you can add your material otherwise if you have any material if you want to share notes and your classroom notes or any project work project work to the, your students then you can add your, the pdfs or links to the video and the, the students will get at their mobiles so and briefly uh, the lesson plan includes a video and interactive questions and the uh, uh, discussion prompts and also material for self and uh, deep learning you can add the material all those things like right? so if you see the dashboard will looks like uh, uh, looks like this if you if you see the uh, the home page of tedx uh, topics are there i already discussed with you there is a discover and the create and get involved and support and the first two we uh, it is very important to all the the discover and create we can create and we can discover the videos from the discover tab and if you are uh, going to create the videos and you can uh, use the tab the create tab so here you can see i have uh, been using have been using this tool for past 3 years in my classroom and i have created different type of lesson plans to the uh, lesson plans to my students and also i am using this tool uh, uh, with my uh, school tabs and also assessing my students 
and the in a different way like all those things you can see the lessons after creation you will get the lessons in your dashboard and you will see after watching the video there is uh, in the right side you can see there are the two three topics are there watch and think and discussion tabs are there so the students can watch the lesson and after that there is a think section the students will will be allotted to the questions so students have given the questions and they have to answer the question and they have to watch the video then answer the question if they are facing any problem uh, suppose they are they couldn't able to understand the question then you can give the hint of the video uh, the exactly what answer uh, and where the answer was like you can attach the question to the video the particular point suppose at the 30 seconds the answer is there at the at the 30 seconds like you can attach the question to the video then students can easily uh, uh, watch and go back to the video and watch the video and answer the question like already told you that you can attach some discussion points related to the topic so you can attach a uh, discussion then students um, share their uh, views according to your discussion point and you can see uh, how what why it is very good to the teachers because of you can monitor because of while we are using the videos in the classroom very good and what next uh, i think after watching the video what the learning outcome was fulfilled by uh, by the students or not so is your teaching process was succeed or not so like you can see uh, you have to assess after your teaching process so if you using cadet if you prepare such type of uh, questions and link with the video then after going to their home the students open the video once again they can answer the questions by giving their names then at your dashboard in your login you will get how many of your students answer the questions or how many of your students are well versed and understood the topic very well you can see your uh, each and every students progress and you can give the feedback to the students uh, uh, related uh, who are good and who are lagging in the uh, understanding the concept of all those things so so briefly this is what about uh, the using of tedd in the classrooms so tedd is a video based lesson plan so you can create some uh, different type of lesson plans related to the video now i am going to um, tell you how to prepare um, the videos of lesson plan video lesson plans on the line uh, now i am going to take you to the the website of the tedd you can see and if you are uh, like if you see in the google you can search and you can type tedx like you will get this um, a tedx lessons worth sharing the page and you can go here you can see uh, the home page like it will looks like discover and the discover you can discover the le lessons already i told you that there are some collections of theme based uh, um, uh, videos and explanations of uh, interactive content created by the other organizations like if you want to create and you are going to create a lesson plan first of all you need to uh, uh, sign up you need to then once you got signed and you you will go to the you will redirect it to your dashboard like you can see this is already i have logged in that's what here here i am this dashboard is looking like this so here you can see there are uh, i have created the 14 lessons uh, and shared with my students and you can see they review the submit uh, in under the every video every lesson you can see the review student work and after um, watching the video if the if your students attended and attempted the quiz and here you will get the the progress of your students and you can watch in the section and you can review our student work also there and you can see each and every video uh, under the every video there is a tab of review our student work like and there is other tabs are there share and edit and and delete the lessons share that are there and you can after creation of the lesson you can share it to your students so first of all i just want to uh, tell you the two things if you are create your own video the first of all you need to upload your video to the youtube 
so because of nowadays we are uh, the most of the teachers around the world are preparing and good hands to preparing the videos so once you prepare your video and you have to upload your video to your youtube channel then you are coming to the tedx then you can share the link and you can add the link to prepare the lesson plan otherwise if you are not good at preparing the videos suppose if you there is another video it is better than you uh, your video and if you want to use the video and definitely you can browse the video from the tedx and you can use the same video in your classroom so first of all if you want to see the lessons if you want to because the first suppose that you don't have any videos so if you want to video if you want you want to use the videos in the on the youtube so you can go to the lessons discover in the first discover tab after you logged in then you can see that there is a uh, discover tab in the discover pan there is a tab of lessons just click on the lessons then you can see there are different type of lessons are there here you can browse uh, all subjects you can see when if you if you want to uh, um, filter your related your topic like you can click on the all subjects like you see there is a tab of all subjects you can click on all subjects like arts business economics like uh, design engineering and health and psychology and science and technology social studies like just of course i want to um, talk about the social studies so here i choose the topic of uh, then another the sub topic will you ask you that suppose i want to talk about the geography so here you can see the there are different type of lessons which are created by other teachers which are created by the other organizations you can see in the in the the section so here if you want to choose this session if you want to take the video and definitely you can use uh, use the video here there is a video how do you build a tunnel of uh, tunnel of underwater there is a 5 minutes of video so if you want to use this video and you can click on that you can click then you can see already there is a video of this and there is a tab of think section in the right side you can see there are the four tabs the watch and think and dig deeper and discuss so here students can watch the video there are there are very good animated videos by two powerful videos. european nations the english channel has long been one of the world's most important maritime passages yet for most of its history the channel's like you can watch the video after after watching the video you have to go to the think section automatically it redirects to the think section after completing the video so here you can see there is an a question why did the project take so long to begin so if you want to use the same lesson uh, with your students then you can easily share the lesson so no need to add and no need edit uh, everything or if you want to add your own questions the video is good but if you want to add your own questions then you can uh, click on the customization tab is there there is a red color tab is there you can customize this uh, lesson then click on the customize this lesson and you will redirect to the the main editing section of the video here see the, the lesson title the title is there and there is a begin so what is the actual session is related to the what is the video is related to the you can give the, the brief disc, description of the video and you can see there are the, the questions around eight questions are there so there are eight questions are there uh, so if you want to add and if you want to remove and you can remove the questions or if you want to change the questions or if you want to add here you can see there is a add another tab is there see here what i am going to tell you that if you want to use the video in the um, already there in the tedx so you need to click on the customize this lesson tab and you will get the the section of customization where you can edit all those things if you want to see then you can see the all the questions which are created by the teacher actual teacher and if you want to change the question and definitely you can change or if you want to add to some more questions to the uh, already the question then you can click on add another so here you can ask the uh, the two type of which type of question you are going to create 
are interested to create so multiple choice question and open answer question like the it will redirect to you when you click on the add another tab then there is a dig deeper so there is already i have already told you that you can add some material in the dig deeper you can add the material as a reading material or an external material or for uh, a supportive reading material or any writing material you can add and you can add links all to the video and either the discussion you can give the any discussion point or to that here what do delays and controversies around the tunnel project like there is another discussion point the writer the author gave and like then you can publish the video and you can share it to your uh, your students like so this is the uh, one of the main use of the tedx because of already there are there are different type of lesson plans related to our concept or topic and you can directly use the videos and share it to your students otherwise otherwise you can customize the videos according to the of the life learning style of your students are the are the topic and the outcomes of the the topic according to your classrooms and then you can see there are collections in the collections you will see different type of theme like uh, uh, you can see the history versus the 11 videos and super hero science the six videos are there and um, train your brain is 17 videos are there so the theme oriented videos you can get in the section of collections and already told you that the explorations are uh, the interactive learning experience like you can see uh, the suppose the teacher who is a science teacher the talking about the periodic table and here you can see there is and waste about talking about environment and plan for zero so it's also and periodic uh, videos are there suppose if you click on the periodic table uh, if you are uh, teaching in the classroom like you can see there are the, all the periodic table is appear like and and every here you can have the video you can have so suppose suppose if you want to talk about helium and you can click on the helium there is a video about the helium so you can play you can play in the classroom and you can use and you can share and you can customize the lesson with your uh, uh, students like right? so you can whatever it is if you want to talk about uh, every organ suppose there is a video about the organ so what the uses are there and what is you're know, talking about and you can see there's a Neil and I have come up with a couple of ways of showing you a transparent gas in a rather more interesting way first of all like all gases like you can you can see how it is very 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 effective to use the teachers in the classroom because of we are not uh, such type of mastery uh, having in, in preparation of the videos such type of content and it can usually easily use the videos whatever there in the uh, suppose if you are talking about the environment and here you are talking about some plastic uh, because of it's now a trending topic to consume less plastic and use some different uh, so like there are a the lot of uh, the brief history of plastic such type of videos are there uh, because of you can talk and you can use the videos in your classroom in the classroom like that so this is the what uh, about the tedx and what already tedx have and what you can use the tedx because of you are not master in the videos suppose if you are not good at using uh, the videos in the tedx and also if you don't want uh, because of um, you can say i am not using the videos in the tedx i have a video related to my class because of uh, i am preparing some good thing and i uploaded my video in my uh, youtube channel so i want to use the video in in my a uh, lesson plan that's what you can you can uh, choose the create and create a lesson so here i am going to talk about if we have a video and if you want to use the video in your lesson plan and you need to go to the create tab so in the discover tab if you are using the other teachers videos and if you want to customize the video which are there which are having in the youtube and you can go to the discover and if you want to create your own video 
so for using your own video and going to create the video lesson plan based on your video and you need to create on the lesson plan here once you click on uh, go to the create tab and here it will ask the youtube link url link already uh, there is a video of you and you have uploaded the video on the youtube channel here i have my youtube channel suppose i have a english lesson of uh, uh, rani's plant suppose i want to create the lesson plan of uh, rani's plant suppose here is a uh, video of uh, what i write a lot of essays for school but i also write sales descriptions for my etsy shop i use grammarly on my working rani's plant here is a video this is the video i have prepared for my lessons so if i want to use the video uh, suppose here you can click on share you can copy the link then you can paste the link in the youtube in the tedx then you can click on search so you will get the video here so what you have to do see you have to get the link of your own video in the youtube from your youtube channel and you can paste the link in the search bar and then you can click search then the video will be appear here so once the video then you can click on the video it will ask to you continue then you can continue so you can see here the lesson title already the description will be there at the youtube so that it will automatically take as a lesson title if you want to change the title of the lesson then you can change the title of the lesson from your youtube youtube channel and if you want to uh, then you can start after that here there is a tab of let's begin there is a think and dig deeper and there is a discussion and and finally if you want to say something regarding all those things then you can click on the let's begin session here it will ask you to introduce your lesson in a few sentence what the lesson is actually and what you are going to to teach and if a student who is or who is going to read the lesson self at their home then how they can going to understand the video like you can add some introduction towards the video so here i am going to uh, giving some instruction to the video the video is talking about the girl named priya priya and she wanted to grow plants so here uh, there is a small description i gave here about the video the video is talking about a girl named priya and she wanted to grow plants and so like then you can uh, um, give some interactions to the description like you can bold you can underline if you give want some italic then you can and if you want to attach any links to the uh, you can also add like then you can save like here see the the um, interaction uh, introduction about the video was added here and then you go to the think section here you can see you can add the questions and multiple choice questions are open ended questions the here you can say if you are going to um, uh, um prepare the multiple choice question you can click on the multiple choice and here you can see you have to give the question what is the the question i want to ask you that what is the name of the the yes so what is the name of the girl what is the name of the girl here you can see there are the uh, four options are there because of it's a multiple choice question here you can see a will be uh, in green color suppose a will in and b and c are in, in dull so here means this is the right answer 
So you can change uh, the um, answer from A to D by selecting the and coloring into the green color. Suppose if I want to uh, give you the answer in the B here Rani and suppose Priya because of this the answer Priya uh, suppose Sita like so if you don't want the answer of C because of if you think uh, three options are um, enough then you can you can click on the delete answer there is a red button is there once you click on delete then you will get the deleted option so like uh, you gave three options for the questions and A, B, C and you have to select the right answer by coloring into the green so then here you can see the video hint option is there suppose uh, video hint option is there so you can give and you can add the time to the video because of what exactly suppose the answer is uh, at uh, oh, suppose in zero three seconds then you can add the video hint suppose the student want to uh, uh, facing any difficult if he is facing any difficult to guess the answer then he directly click on the video hint button then the video and this will redirect to the exactly wh where the answer was then you can save like like this is the first question and also you can go to the second question and the multiple choice question are open ended question so here i am going to click the multiple choice question so uh, priya took a seed from her grandfather or grandfather you can see like i gave the statement of uh, statement so here i want to convert this into a sr question so i only i need only two sections are enough so i am going to delete the other two options this so here this is the right answer just yes, true and i am going to give you the second option or false so the true and a is right answer that's why i keep a in green color if if b if you are going to give you the b is the right answer then you can you can make the b into green so here the a is the right answer that's what i gave so if you want to uh, give you uh, the video hand then you can add the video at to suppose in the 10 then you can also save like if you want to add like you can add many questions if you want to add some and different questions like if you want to create some uh, open ended question okay what is the the video about like if you want to ask this question then you can ask like you can simply give the questions and you can save like you can add many questions suppose uh, if you want to add some fill in the blank question like you can take it and you can click on multiple choice like Priya took a dash from her grandfather. Like, uh, like you can you can give like you can give the options like like those things. Or if you want to, uh, um, uh, if you want your students write the answer, then you can go to the open ended uh, open ended question like you can add many questions this is in the think section and you can see in the de uh, deep, deep that so if you, if you here i am add some material regarding how the germination process are there so i added a uh, image to the last then if you want to click give you any link to the uh, to the video then you can add then you can save it like so in the discussion point uh, you can add any discussion point like do you like uh, plants like why you can add some like uh, discussion point then you can give the answer so once you have completed all those things because of the first session 
you have to give the introduction to the video and you have to add some questions to the video and you can give the deep digger dig deeper and you can add some discussion points like so if you don't want to use those two sections uh, the deeper section and discussion section no need of uh, uh, don't worry about all those you can only add the questions and you can publish the the, um, the lesson you can publish so here once you got published the lesson and you will get these the two option so students require students to use tedd accounts or don't require students to use the tedd accounts so because of most of the students are using mobile phones nowadays but they don't have to how to log in all those things that's what it's better to don't require students to use tedd accounts they if uh, if you select this option the students doesn't no problem for the student if they doesn't have uh, if they don't have the tedd accounts they can easily uh, answer the question you can by placing their name by writing their name they can answer the questions they can watch the video and the share the lesson and you can click on the share so here you can you can uh, hear the link of the the lesson and you can copy the link and uh, and you can share to the uh, social media or to the whatsapp to your uh, student like so here you can see there is a lesson which was created by you and earlier it was on the date you can see on uh, 18th may 2022 here i prepared this lesson so once you have uh, said this lesson you can see um, copy to the clipboard like you can copy then you can use this uh, link uh, in the if you give the link to your students you can see if i open the link here in the browse you, you can you can see that if i open this and this will the this will looks like like see there is a watch and think and deep discussions and so the students can easily watch the video and then if you are going to think section so what is the name of the girl suppose this is the priya i am going to write i already told you that and while uh, um, uh, they are answering the questions when they are answering the question then they have to write down their names uh, suppose you can write down their name students have to give their name and then it will gives you hello to answer the question so what is the name of the girl and you can see the uh, suppose if you the character then they have to click on save my answer so the student have to select the answer and click on the save my answer because so it's a wrong answer then the student can again watch the uh, um, answer the question then priya the save answer yes this right answer and students will navigate to the next question so priya took a sweet from her grandfather this is the false suppose you putting save the answer so this wasn't it so this is wrong answer then you are already we given a video hint to the question then students can watch the video click on the video rajan she wanted to so right so you can directly the video goes to the uh, the time which were given in the video hint they directly played from the 10 seconds so this was the hint uh, for the question like the students can easily answer and usually attempt to the questions like all those things and uh, next question and if you so may answer if think the students all done so this the student of kauluri uh answered all the questions now coming to your uh, login you can see if you see in your login see there is a lesson if you refresh this you can see here there is a review of student work you can click on that then you can see there is a student of uh, kauluri he attempted the two questions of multiple choice and two completed in the first attempt and 
uh, total attempts are four. You see, in these, you can see the um, how they interacted with the video. They are good. And in the first attempt, uh, they answered all the questions correctly. Means they are very well understood the topic. And uh, it's uh, and there is a one open answer question is there. So he noted completed uh, just. And you can review. You can review the students once. If they tenant accounts, then only you can review. Otherwise, you can see and you can have. You can download the uh, student response uh, uh, in a CV, CSV file. So that's what what I am talking you that it's a very good uh, tool for getting all those things at the at your hand because of it's a, uh, a real time monitor from from your home at your at our homes uh, to the students' progress. If any student not at answered, not at attempt to the quiz, then you can directly uh, call to the students by watching the uh, particulars of your students. Like you can see, uh, uh, most of my uh, classrooms students are there, and they are uh, here. You can see I can watch my uh, uh, students how they are attempting. Here the four questions, uh, fourteen questions are there. Some student of Rashma. Uh, he she has uh, completed 14 questions in the first attempt. So because of I can understood that because of the student of Rashma, uh, a very well, very good at understanding uh, the concept of the video, the questions also very well. So that's what. And uh, here you can see uh, another student of Lalita. She took 17 attempts to answer these uh, 14 questions. See, yeah, she has some trouble uh, because of while understanding the questions like uh, like. So you can assume that uh, how your students uh, are uh, interacting with the video, how your teaching process are successful or not, how is going on, like all those things you can monitor from your uh, uh, from your home at your home also, and also you can you can see uh, it's you can already in the initial I told you that then there is no need of a laptop or desktop to creating these things. So you can easily download the, uh, um, you can browse from um, the Chrome, you can create uh, your uh, login, sign up in the TEDx and you can create the video lesson, you can easily uh, share to your students. And also there is no need of uh, uh, mastery skills for preparing the videos because of there are a lot uh, uh, more videos are there in the, in the TEDx already you can use and you can customize those videos and you can send it to your students and uh, um, use. So here uh, I just want to play uh, how my students are interacting with the video uh, of these um, lessons, interaction videos, the real time my classroom practices or the students, uh, how they are using in my classroom and I just have a small video of one minute. Like it's uh, because of why I'm telling you that why the Turkey is very good tool for the teachers like uh, because of we have very 
less resource classroom are there because of we are using our own tabs which are using for the attendance so we are using same tabs for the students uh, for using um, all those things and making the lessons and sharing the lessons with your with my students also Indeed. the students are also very much interested to uh, to answer and use the videos and watch the videos and also uh, um, attempt the quizzes also very interesting for In that Indeed, sir. I think uh, it is actually an effective tool for all the students and teachers as well. And thank you so much for giving thorough knowledge on this tool, on this platform, and actually showing, uh, the, giving the detailed tutorial as well on its several uh, functions and its uh, features as well. Uh, so before we conclude our today's session, I have one uh, question for you, and I would request you to briefly answer to that. Sir, so okay. how does the TEDEDIT help for flipped and blended learning? You know, already I told you that uh, Clifford means when you are teaching from home mm -hmm. because we can access the learning from the home also because of now of pandemic days uh, most of the students are far from the classrooms. So if you are as a teachers also very much interested to do something for the students even though don't have the digital skills of the teachers like the teachers who have such type of inspiration zeal then you can use the TEDx then create the lesson and you can share it to your students WhatsApp or parents WhatsApp. And uh, talk with their uh, talk with your students and how to uh, answer and how to attempt the quiz and uh, watch the video, how to read the uh, material which are uh, given in the section also. Mm -hmm. And uh, and after that you will get the progress of the students. Then you can talk and you can watch their uh, progress, how they are attempting them the questions, and you can talk to your student. Like you can use this TEDED as a flipped classroom from your home. Students can learn from their home and teachers can uh, teach from their home. Yeah, thank you so much and uh, thank you so much for your time sir and uh, for delivering this important, this effective, this informative session to all our learners. Thank you so much sir. Thank you, thank you ma'am. And I would like to thank all our viewers as well who joined us throughout this session. I hope this session was informative for you as well. Um, but, and with this, we come to end out to this session. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll come back straight away with our Sahyog session at sharp 5 p.m. Stay connected to PM Vidya channel and CRT official. Namaskar.